Laura, Ali, good morning. <laughs> hey, come on, England. Come on, Scotland. Keep the push. Buddy, you sound like a man that's just got a million pound over the weekend. <laughs> uh, uh, Ali, it's a load of rubbish, mate. That's it. A load of rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we sold Ivan for six million. We wanted ten. We got six up front. Um, further add-ons for everything. We're we're up to nine point seven million now. The deal is capped at ten million plus a sell-on, of course. Yeah. So um, we we've got nothing for him coming on in the last ten minutes. And the deals I've done previously, um, you have to start to gain any uh, uh, any cap, and that's when you get paid. So. We wouldn't have got it anyway if we had it in the um, transfer agreement. But we haven't got it in the transfer agreement. But we are delighted yeah. for Ivan. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful man. Wants to listen, wants to learn, wants to improve all the time. He's the best centre forward that, that we've ever had at Boston and that I've ever uh, had under my wing in one way or the other. Um, he's a very humble guy. He deserves everything that he's got. Um, he's worked very, very hard, and he's never forgot where he's come from. And uh, I'm delighted for him. When he left us, um, it was the best deal that Peterborough had ever done, and um, and he got all the add-ons because we was confident of getting a million pounds over appearances, a million pounds over Brentford getting in the Premier League and him playing a certain number of games. We also got a million pounds from retaining their Premier League status last year. We've also got more money for them retaining their Premiership this year. We've also got money for goals. Uh, But like I say, the whole deal is capped at 10. Uh, Brentford's delighted. Peterborough's delighted. And when Ivan left us, he become a millionaire overnight. So we're all delighted. <laughs> but, Barry, my old man used to say to me, the best deals going are the deals where everybody's happy. And that sounds as though it's a perfect deal. You guys are happy, Brentford happy, and Ivan Tony's happy. Well, first thing I've got to say to me, and I'm happy, because he was, he was nearly going to Celtic. So I'm absolutely ec- yeah, I'm ecstatic with that. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, I only pulled out of that deal because of you, Ali, you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, Barry, in a way, this might sound a little bit crazy, though. Is, in a way, is he a little bit unlucky? Um, and the reason I'm asking that is because he's up against an international centre forward in Harry Kane, who looks as though he's unstoppable at this moment in time. And clearly, I think you'd be of the belief that, you know, Ivan Tony would have a lot more international game time. Oh, absolutely. 100% Ali, as usual. You know, <clears throat> Harry Kane's brilliant, both for Tottenham and England. He's a model professional. Um, God knows where Spurs would be without him. And, um, you, you know, so Ivan's really, really desperately unlucky to be up against that one position. But I'm delighted Gareth picked him and give him 10 minutes. Um, he deserves that. I'm delighted for Ivan and his family. Um, I did say when he joined us, he, he, I, I watched him as an 18-year-old boy playing for Northampton youth team, and he got in the first team, and we went to buy him, but Newcastle come in, and they have obviously got more money than the posh, so he went to Newcastle, but he didn't. He only had a <clears throat> couple of games for Newcastle. He went out on loan here, there, and everywhere, about six or seven clubs, but we always kept an eye on him, and... Uh, when he came to see us, I told him and his dad, he needs stability, he needs to move back to Northampton where his family was, he needs to be loved. And I told him I'd make him a millionaire. He laughed at me, but he ain't made a laughing at me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, Barry, before we let you go, just a quick one on, on Peter Brad. Good result Three weekend, wins yeah. on the spin, just outside those playoff spots by what a point there. Um, and Oxford United next, going well. Yeah, brilliant. Since Darren Ferguson come in, I mean, when Grant went, uh, Darren was the ideal guy. He's already got four promotions with us and a winning trip to Wembley and the Johnston Paint. Um, He's got a hat-trick of uh, getting promotions from League One to the Championship. He was just the ideal, perfect 
play a manager to come in and get the best out of the players. I think we've won nine out of 14 since he's been there. He's lifted the whole place. We're one point behind uh, the playoffs now. So all to play for. We've won our last three games. Uh, great end of the season. Come on, the posh. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, you're brilliant. Thank Blow you. Him, Thank you for making Blow our day. Go on, a posh. <laughs> show. Keep the good work up. God bless you. Blow him, Barry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barry Fry. There. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he ever wakes up in a bad mood? No. Nah. You think, you think Barry ever? I don't fancy being myself today. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Just oh, reel, I'm going to reel it in a wee bit today. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barry Fry, there. Magic. Director of football, I think, is his uh, official magic. title today. Yeah, Peter mayor, Brother. director of football. Mayor, mayor Governor. of Peterborough. That's yeah. what we'll give him. Um, brilliant to have him on. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.